Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another $5 Funnel Leadership Mastermind. It's your old pal Tom Sally with my business partner, Mr. Bill Ebert, and we are very excited heading into launch, days away from officially launching and days away from sending out to, uh, commissions to all of our members, and that's the most exciting thing. You know, we know that's why you're here. Uh, over and above the personal development of the training and the products, we know that everybody is waiting for that day when the bell rings and you get your commission sent. And we want to set your expectations correctly, and we want everybody to be on the same page. So I'm going to turn it over to the maestro, <laughs> Mr. Bill Ebert. Take it over, buddy. Thanks, Tom. Hi, everybody. I um, want to get um, your expectations in the right place so you know what's going on, so we want to communicate to the team on a regular basis. Um, everybody who's a builder and beyond, we just want to make sure that we're, we're really communicating a lot to you. You know, a lot of the people who just come in and do the $5 purchase, um, they really just want to kick the tires. They want to play around with the lead manager. They're not really as focused. So at least once a week, we want to sit and talk to you guys and show you what's going on, um, keep you up, you update, and manage your expectations. So this is the beginning of launch. We're going to launch on this weekend. We're going to do a full pay run and close out the month, and then we're going to put the commissions in your bank. And then you're going to have a training on your bank page on how to withdraw the commissions, how to upgrade, how to downgrade, how to do all the things that you need to. The bank's going to be a pretty powerful tool for you. It's going to be where you're going to uh, track all your money and finances. So that's all going to happen. I want to clarify some things for everybody. This is the way the payment structure is going to work because there's just a lot of rumors. Even though we did this on the last leadership call, I just think we need to clarify. This is the way the commission structure works. On the first, everybody gets paid. Everybody has a pay run on the first. On the second, we do compression. So everybody gets a pay run on the midnight of the night before. We do at midnight. So when you wake up on the first, even if it's a Sunday morning, you wake up on the first, you're going to see commissions in your back office, in your bank, and you can withdraw them, do whatever you want with them. On the second, we take every person. Now this is only talking about your $5 customers. We take every person who is not active, and we compress your your commissions. We compress the structure on the second and then from that point on through the month we do the same thing all the way through the through the month. We're going to pay on the seventh and you're going to wake up on the eighth and you're going to see some commissions in your in your bank for everybody who's either upgraded or repaid for the for the first through the seventh. And so we do a commission run on the seventh, we do another one on the fourteenth, we do another one on the twenty first, and then we do another one on the twenty eighth or the first of the month, I'm sorry because sometimes we end on the 28th, so that one will probably be the biggest week for you. So we're going to do it four times a month. We're going to have it every single time. Midnight, East Coast time is going to be the run. We're going to recompress on the first for everybody who's out of the system for 30 days. We're going to talk a little bit about compression here in a second. I want to talk to you about why we're doing what we're doing and how it's best and how to work this program so it's not only better for you but for your people. You actually want to develop individuals who are making a full-time income so that you can benefit from their work, that's the greatest thing about network marketing, is you can benefit from people who are out there hustling and making a good making a good income. So I want to show you that. I'm going to show you what your your bank. It's not complete yet, so I'm just going to show you a little bit, so you have a little bit of uh, a little bit of exciting news. You're going to see that your bank is going to look similar to this. You're going to be able to go into your bank tab. You're going to be able to see all the transactions that have ever happened, every payment you've made, every payment that's been out, if there's ever been a refund, if there's ever been an unsubscription, if there's ever been any scenario up, down, moving around. You know, If you want to take a pause from the program for a while, all that's going to be in your transaction history. Um, your dashboard, of course, is going to show all of your current leads. It's going to show all your subscribers in every single level. You know, The people who are paying the $25 subscription for all the tools, bells and whistles, you're going to see those. And then you're going to see your last commission run, so you can see how much you made last month. And then nice little charts to see the progression as you move through the system. You can see your leads, you can see your upgrades, you can see your sales, and you can see your commissions on these really cool little charts. I really like them. Um, if you don't like them, just read the numbers across the top, see where you are currently. So we got a dashboard, we got history, we got your withdrawal status. So you're going to see your available balance, how much money you've made. You're going to be able to select on which payment processor you want. You don't have to take all your money through PayPal. You don't have to take all your money through Payza. You can actually split it up. You can even, if you wanted to, let the money sit in your bank and decide next week or next month, whatever you want to. You can actually let it sit there for as long as you need to and wait to get to a certain amount and then cash out. So you get to make all those choices. And then, um, of course, you're going to be able to edit your profile. I'm not going to click on that tab because there might be some private information in there, but on your profile you're going to be able to verify your email, 
put your social security number or your tax ID, um, especially for your U.S. citizens because we've got to keep track of that stuff. Um, you can also fund your program, though so that's something that will be explained later and I want to actually talk about that. And Then you're going to have the process of upgrading and downgrading each um, product that you purchase. You get your product purchases that you're subscribing to on a regular basis. You can unsubscribe. You can upgrade all kinds of stuff back there. So there's going to be all your tools. We'll give you full video explanation of how it works. So there's your expectations. Be expecting when you wake up on the first, you're going to see your bank. Even if it's not 100% functional, so you got to give us a little bit of grace there. If it's not 100% functional, you'll at least see your deposits in there, and you'll be able to at least assign the money to go into which account. Now, there's going to be some little things because when it comes to money, we have to be penny perfect. We have to test this thing, and it has to be absolutely perfect. So if there's little features that I just mentioned that aren't exactly working yet, just give us a couple days um, to make it perfect because we're not going to release something when it comes to your money until it's been tested, proven, retested, and reproven. So um, right now we have everything functional. What was that, Tom? Here's a question for you because um, I know it's going to be asked. What are the uh, withdrawal methods that will be available on uh, the morning of the 1st? Well, we're definitely going to have PayPal, net spend, and checking account bank transfer. We are um, also possibly going to have PESA, but that but that's one of the processes that aren't tested. So definitely PayPal, definitely bank transfers, and definitely net spend. Beautiful. All right, the next thing I want to show you, it's a little bit of training here. I want to talk to you about expectations when it comes to training. Um, you're going to hear a lot of the stuff that we talk about, that when it comes to people, when it comes to our human experience in this life and business, we're going to find one common principle all the way through everything we do. When we talk about success, when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about losing weight, when we're talking about exercising, when we're talking about caring for human beings, it all falls into the same category. With people, fast is slow, and slow is fast. In other words, most people are trying to take the short route to get where they want to go. So someone who wants to diet, they're looking for the easiest, fastest way to get there. So they do these things called starvation diets. They starve themselves. They eat very little food. Their body goes into starvation mode. Then they go back to eat normal again, and they blow up bigger than they were before. It's the principle that if you try to do things fast, if you try to do things wrong and try to get quick results, like the guy who exercises and is heavily involved in steroids, he's going to break himself. He's going to hurt himself. He may get quick results, and he may look better for a short time, better than the guy next to him, but he's suffering. He's killing his body. The same way with eating and exercise. If you'll do it right, and you'll make it a lifestyle, and you take your time. Everybody knows these things, but it works in every single area of life. And I want to talk to you how to make this business work the same way. Now, we also know with relationships, patience when you talk to somebody and they're in a different zone or a different personality type or a different gender, you have to realize that if you listen first, listen first, first seek to understand before you're understood, that patience and taking what seems to be the short way or the, or, or the long way, you know, but taking a little bit of time with a human being, you'll actually get to a communication faster than yelling and screaming and waving your arms and trying to get your point across. But if you'll be patient, if you'll listen first, speak second, you realize that that's a principle in every single area of life. Now let's apply that to our business. We built this thing under the premise of things that work and work correctly. So we have a lot of people that are coming in. Um, a lot of people are used to, if you haven't watched the video on Ponzi's and scams, you need to watch that because that's a foundational. I'm not going to get into all that right now. But a lot of people are used to the Ponzi scam. It's where you give me $5 and then you go get three other people to give you $5. And it's just a money game. It has nothing to do with building people. It has nothing to do with selling products. And people have come into our program already and asked the question, well, what if I have some holes in my organization or how do I get this? And they're thinking about it like this. They're thinking about this not as a business but as a matrix. They're thinking about how do I fill in as many. These little blue guys are paid and these little gray guys are just kicking the tires. They're just watching. They're free leads or they're just coming in and looking at your program. And here's how people think about it. They think, well, I got to have all these blue guys. You know, I have to. I absolutely have to. And they're getting all frenzied. They're saying, well, you know, that spot is open. I have to have a person in there. And this person's gray. And, and they're getting all emotional about the fact that I can't keep those in there. I'm not getting paid for that spot. I have to bump him out. 
because they're thinking of it like they thought of the last program they were in. They're thinking about it about the money game or the scam or the Ponzi that they're in. This is not that. If you've come in thinking that this is a Ponzi scheme, if you think this is this is a matrix where you're going to come in, fill up 200 people, make a lot of money, and live forever in the islands, this is not that program. I'm going to show you how to work this program so that you and the people you influence will make a tremendous amount of money, but you're going to do it right. You're going to take your time, you're going to care for human beings, and you're going to build a business. You're not coming in here to throw a bunch of $5 at people and turn it into a Ponzi scheme. So let me explain to you. When you have these people in your organization, these are not positions. They're human beings. They are not a spot in the matrix. It's a sale. You're actually selling a valuable and amazing product. Our training and our tools and the things that most people haven't even seen yet because we haven't launched the program until Monday, the tools and the training and the stuff that we have back there is way more valuable than the $5 that you're paying. So you need to think of it as human beings and products, not matrixes and paid or not paid. Because what if people are thinking that if I don't get a bunch of blue people in here, if I don't get a bunch of blue members, I'm not going to make any money. Let me, let me get you, uh, first of all, get a point across. There's a lot of people that do Ponzi schemes and they run from program to program. They're barely paying their bills. They might have a car payment once in a while or they might even have a, a little a rush. You know, they might have a, a good event, but then they have to go back and do the same thing over again. They have to run from Ponzi scheme to Ponzi scheme and those companies get shut down by regulators and everybody gets disappointed and all the people down here at the bottom paid their five dollars and they went away sad they didn't get a product and they went and they they bought into a dream what you need to understand is when you bring human beings into this opportunity when you bring people to this product when you bring people to this company that this person needs time to evaluate the program and he is going to be more motivated to help you if you give him time with people fast is slow and slow is fast. Let this guy sit in your back office for 30 days. Don't try and bump him out. Don't try to motivate him to, to upgrade. Because here's the thing, is every zero knows a hero that he might never upgrade. He might never do anything. But if you're in such a hurry to kick him out and he doesn't see himself in the potential, if he doesn't see himself, here's this little gray guy who's never upgraded. If he doesn't see in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, all these people potentially sales that he could benefit from he's now interested enough to share it with one of his heroes if you boot this guy out in your five dollar program you're never gonna get the ninety nine dollar hero you're never gonna get the guy who wants to join your program down here and go crazy and make you money if you're in such a hurry to make your $200, which is what a full matrix will do on the first level, if you're in such a hurry to make $200, there's a faster and better way to do that. What our goal is is to help every single one of these people turn into one of these people. If it takes, if it takes six months or a year, if we can get your people to stay and to appreciate and to learn the back office and to not be frustrated and not to be booted out and to have an opportunity to learn and grow when the program grows, we're not trying to kick them out. We're not trying to fill your $5 matrix. That's a wrong thinking. We're trying to help you help people. And so if these people will eventually move up and over, then it's great. If they don't, but they bring this person because they've been in long enough to bring your heroes over, your, your $99 superstars, your $249 monsters, the people who come in who know the business and want to make a tremendous amount of money, it's not about making every person become an upgrade. It's about taking care of human beings and find out who they know who are interested. It's a very powerful tool. On the next level, when you move over into higher sales, all these people end up following you over without worrying about the holes. Don't worry about that you didn't make 20 cents on that spot. It's not about that 20 cents. It's about helping as many people as you possibly can become this and move over to the next level. And so you have to understand, I've heard a lot of people talk about, oh, I have a hole or I have an unfilled person. You don't realize that it's not about filling a matrix. It's about spending time with as, much, as many people as you possibly can and help them develop and grow their own organization. And they will follow you. The, the successful people will follow you to the next level, will develop and learn and grow and start using the tools on level two. 
and then as they build an organization, which right now it's doubling in size every seven days, this company and the, the product and the value that people are getting and the way that they're seeing the way that this works is if you'll just take time with these people instead of worrying about selling them, take time with them. You're going to see, be patient, let it grow, and watch the colors change. Watch your downline change. Don't be in such a hurry to boot people out, in other words. Um, so with that being said, you also don't want to go and put in a bunch of names in your downline that are just going to frustrate you and frustrate them. You don't want to just pile a bunch of, of gray bodies in the back end. You know, a lot of people are playing around with their back office and putting people in, and that just frustrates you and all your other people. When they look at their downline and they see nothing but gray bodies, it's because you're not – if you are if you have 20, 30, 40, 50 people and none of them are doing anything, it's because you're not doing something right. Slow down. Take time with a few because we started on day one. I asked 12 people to look at my link. 11 of them signed up, and I'm taking care of 11 people. I don't have to sign up 12. I don't have to sign up 14. I'm now going to help these people become successful, and now we have thousands and thousands of people because of those 12. And the same thing will work for you. Don't be in such a hurry. So take your time. Care for human beings. That's what this whole thing's about. Be patient. Work the program. We're going to show you how to build a home for people, not a Ponzi scheme, so that you can make a quick payment. So that's all I have. Um, I hope that modifies your expectations a little bit. Of course, you have a, if you have any questions, especially about your system or your back office or things aren't working for you, we got a new email system that started today that should help a lot. I mean, a tremendous about getting more emails delivered. You know, a lot of uh, new companies have a really hard time with that. We have a hard time to getting emails delivered. So the new confirmation buttons in the back office are really helpful, getting a lot more emails through. So um, use that. Check out your back office. We've got a brand new compensation video coming. we got a brand new orientation video that just went in the other day, and we got a couple brand new buttons back there that you should probably take a look at. So see you guys on the other side. I'm going to turn it over to Tom, see if I forgot anything. Let him close it out. Thanks, Bill. It's really informative. You know, people don't, know, don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And uh, the interesting thing is Bill was saying, look, allow these people some time to get acclimated with the program. Uh, I like to take a more, uh, you know, um, a better approach or just reach it out to people. Look, uh, network marketing is all about relationships. So those people that you see in your genealogy that are silver, that haven't done anything yet, uh, you know, if there's a phone number on their profile, you know, and, and, and they were personally referred by you, by all means, call them. You know, you shouldn't be afraid to do that. They're already in the program. They've already exper uh, expressed interest in the program. Uh, now, if you don't have a phone number, by you know, reach out by email. We, we also have uh, the uh, Facebook button in the back office that when you're in your lead manager and you click Facebook, it'll open up Facebook and query uh, based on their email, and you might be able to find them on Facebook. There's no guarantee, but this whole thing is about relationships. I always say, together we go, together we grow. You know, I met Bill Ebert uh, 12, 13, 14 years ago, however long it's been, and I've been in relationship with him ever since I met him. We've been friends, and he's obviously been my mentor, and we're here we are, still knocking him out of the park. And that's the beautiful thing about network marketing is you have friends all around the world. So don't be afraid to reach out and make relationships. And for those guys that are the, uh, you know, the, 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 the group posters, or the traffic getters, and you know that this, uh, because of the uh, uh, conversions that we're getting, you know that you can uh, pile in lots of people, that's awesome. But if you're going to do that, reach out to those people and send some traffic their way so you build your organization nice and deep so everybody gets uh, you know, some product sales. Because without product sales, if you go and you sell 100 products, what good is it if nobody else that you're selling uh, that, that you bring in and, and sell products to can do the same thing. Look, my phone's ringing. God bless you guys, and I was in the bag. God bless. <laughs>